Hey guys, your objective for this video is just a brief discussion of something called the live load reduction factor, psi subscript A. Okay? So, in a structure, say like this one here, an office, an office building, okay? We have some desks, it might be a kitchen, something like this, a typical floor plan, okay? Not every spot has loading on it in terms of live loading, right? There's a table there, but there's nothing else filling this room. There's a table there and some chairs, but there's nothing else filling the rest of the room, okay? So what we can do is, is we can reduce the live load as the probability of supporting fully crowded area is low, right? So all this is saying is that because not every spot is actually gonna be loaded with say a three KPA live load, we can artificially reduce this live load. So this is seen in section 3.4.2. So this is 3.4.2. Um, this is in, of course, AS1170.1. Now, we are on page 12, and it says here that the reduction factor psi A shall be as follows. Okay, we have a formula down here. 0 0.3 plus 3 on root A. Not greater than 1 and not less than 0 0.5, where A is the sum of all the areas supported by a structural element in square meters. All right? So you can read through here some of the exceptions to this rule, but just generally speaking, psi A is 0 0.3 plus 3 on root A, okay? Where psi A cannot be between 0.5 and 1. So let's just see this in action, for example. Back to our problem we had before. The area of our slab would be 0 0.6 by 1.2 meters, okay? 0 0.6 by 1.2 meters gives us 0 0.72 meters squared. Working out this reduction would be psi A equals 0 0.3 plus 3, on the square root of 0.72. So three divide square root of 0.72 plus 0.3 gives us 3.83, okay? Now 3.83 is greater than one, okay? So that means that psi A equals one, which means that the live load cannot be reduced in this case. So in this case, we cannot reduce the live load, all right? But we're gonna be seeing in the examples coming up that psi A will actually will be between these values. And then what we can do is we can go to our live load calculation of 1.8 kilonewton meters per meter and say that we had a psi A equal to 0.7, all right? Instead of 1.8, it's gonna be 1.8 times 0.7. Okay, so we can now say it's 1.26 instead of 1.8. Okay, so we reduce the live load by using this thing called the live load reduction factor. Anyway, this is just a very brief video exposing you to what this idea was because it's going to be seen in some of the upcoming videos. Anyway, guys, hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video.